Good evening everyone and welcome back to our YouTube channel. I hope that wherever you're watching this video in the world you're safe and happy and well. It's super windy right now which is so nice because it's a little bit cooler and we're just about to start an evening shift which we're very excited about because we're gonna finish <laughs> and complete the floor of the barn. This has been the biggest challenge physically and mentally and time-wise. It's taken what feels like forever. My hands hurt so much I cannot wait for it to be done. And another exciting thing that we're going to complete in this video hopefully is removing the roof completely. We're the Indie Project, B and Theo, and we've been living and travelling the world in vans for the past six years. We're currently renovating an abandoned stone barn in Portugal to turn it into a beautiful tiny home for us and our cat, Gingy Bear. Follow our journey from the very beginning as we document the whole process of creating an off-grid home. So before we start this evening's shift, we're just going to do a little bit of maintenance on this breaker tool that we've got that's doing a wonderful job breaking up the rock. A lot of you guys were wondering, is a breaker the same as a jackhammer? Literally the same thing. In the UK, we just use the term breaker, I guess. That's what I found the name to be online anyway, so I've just been calling <laughs> it that. But basically what we're doing is we're going to pop off this little area here which reveals where the oil is and we've just got some 15 W40 oil and we're just going to fill it up a little bit and what this does is it just keeps the tool running nice and smoothly because if you run out of this it will be a pain and everything will dry up and it won't be lubricated and it will end up just seizing up so you want to keep on top of this because this tool right now is the most important thing in my life. I wonder how Even many hours. Even more important than B. <laughs> I wonder how many hours we've used this tool for during this whole thing now. A lot. Yeah, we've used this a hell of a lot. So much. I, I would imagine well over 30 hours so far, yeah. at least. Probably coming up to 60, 50 or 60. Mm -hmm. So yeah, pretty crazy. And we can't let this thing fail now. We're so much on the home straight. Yeah, we need to show them. And I wanted to show you guys how the floor's looking. Check it out. We're on the home straight. <laughs> we are on the home straight here. Look at that. Pretty much flat. You might have noticed that. Tonight, we're going to be taking this out. We're going to be taking the whole thing out. It looks really beautiful, but we realised it's just going to take up too much room. So it's coming out tonight. So the jackhammer's ready for a long shift breaking that up. So you might be wondering why I'm squatting down right now next to a massive boulder. And that is to give you a scale of how a six foot three brute like myself <laughs> brute <laughs> fits next to this massive rock. And I spent ages trimming it down, making it look nice. And today we just decided, you know what? It's too big. The barn's not big enough to house something like this and this is going to be our living area and to be honest I don't fancy sitting on stone so I'm just going to measure it and show you guys how big it actually is. Right, so from the wall to where it is is currently 85 centimetres. Oh it sticks out 85? 85, 85 wow. centimetres so <laughs> we're talking like nearly a metre encroaching on our space in our living area and to be honest like we want it to be cozy and comfortable and I think that rock the only thing it's going to be good for is like a mantelpiece and mm. to store stuff on and I don't know about you guys but I bet in your house you don't have a meter <laughs> depth mantelpiece it's just ridiculous so we're going to get rid of it my hands are very sore I can barely feel them to be honest, so I'm gonna be like shaking around like this, but I'm ready. I'm, I'm ready to just get rid of this right now. We are 100% reaching the end of our physical capacity for this floor removal. We've been working on it day in and day out, morning and night for ages. We need to actually figure out the amount of hours we've been working on it, but both of our hands, are, I mean Theo's hands are blistered really badly, mine are just so sore, my knuckles, oh my gosh, my forearms from lifting up the uh, wheelbarrow, it really has been hard work and then with the heat on top of it, it's just a lot, it's a lot physically so it's got us really excited that this is the final boulder to break down. I just wanted to point out 
I do have ear defenders in because I know some people were concerned. Theo's got external ones, I've got internal, so don't worry about my ears, they are perfectly safe. <laughs> I can't believe that we've done it. Me neither. <laughs> Guys, the sun is right in my eyes. <laughs> that rhymed. And we are, I don't know, we are, we are humans. We are done, we are finished. We're human beings, we're human beings. And we've finished the <laughs> barn floor. We have, I'm trying to muster up the energy to be excited about it, but I'm so tired that I can't even be excited we're about so it. so tired. The floor is done. Look, I'm gonna get excited right now. The floor is done. It <laughs> took us, we worked out about 50 hours. That's many, many mornings and evenings, but we did it. We've got so much rubble that we could literally build another barn. <laughs> it's just crazy that that much rubble can come out of here, but yeah, we can't wait to show you guys what it looks like right now. And what do you know? The building inspectors turned up right on time, doing a perimeter check. You are currently looking at someone who is perished. I'm not actually here. This is a, what's the word? A hologram. <laughs> I'm so tired. I'm so happy it's done. The joy is unbelievable. And I know, I'm sure we've probably said it 50 times. It feels massive in here now. It's amazing. Hard work pays off. So as B just said, it feels absolutely massive now. It's crazy that you can walk around and feel the space and see where all the different furniture and the kitchen and the mezzanine, everything's gonna fit together so nicely. And yeah, I just never wanna see another one of them again. That jackhammer, I think I'm just gonna retire it, maybe frame it, hang it up somewhere and just leave it because I never wanna touch another one again. But something I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about is We've had loads of people say, well, why do they build on boulders and stones and stuff like that? And the reason is, it's because it's a foundation. The whole of this barn floor, we know is so solid because we've chipped it down a whole 20 to 25 centimeters from what it was. It's all completely solid granite. So it's gonna be amazing. When we put the surface for the floor on, it means that we know that we're working with a solid floor, nothing's gonna sink, it's all perfect. It's just a great foundation and that is exactly why they would have built on it. I mean, if you look around here, all the way from Gingy, all the way around the corner, this was a shelf that came out here. This whole thing is one continuous, massive stone. So I had to chip away at it all the way along and now we're ready to move on to the next stage. And what's the next stage? The roof. The roof! Theo has done a fantastic job at breaking this rock down but keeping it intact because we're going to use it as like a little shelf. I think it protrudes about 20 to 30 centimeters so it should be really nice. Gingy obviously loves it and all the line markings on there we're going to soften them out but that's basically just what the jackhammer did to break it all up and it was so stubborn trust me. Now one of the things I'm really excited about and something I've actually looked forward to for years but we've never been here in the right season and something that was definitely one of the really big things that got me and Theo both excited about having our own plot is being able to eat food from your land and we have so many fig trees here and we've never been here in the right season to pick them but we've just spotted some that are finally ripe so in celebration of the floor being done we're gonna go and pick some figs. And how cool is this? One of our fig trees is right here and the barn's there. You can literally just wander out of your home and pick fruit straight off the tree. But we're not gonna pick this one today because it's not quite ripe enough. But further down the land, there's some pucker looking figs. So the fig tree that we're actually heading to is about 100 meters away from the house. So we're just heading down there right now and I can't wait. They're so tasty. I've just found this fig and it looks perfect. It's soft, it's dark, and it's ready to eat. 
And just for scale, Gingy is walking over all of the rubble that we removed on the way back up to the caravan. I wonder if Gingy would like to try some figs. So this right here is the fig that I'm going to be sampling. It feels brilliant, so hopefully it's going to taste just as good. Beautiful fig! If any of you have any recipes as well for what to do with figs, that'd be great, because obviously they're nice to eat raw. Yeah, drop a comment if you know what to do with figs, because I'd like to maybe make some jam or something. So now we're all figged out, it's time to wind down for the evening because tomorrow is a massive day. We have two builders arriving called Jack and Kevin and I'm going to be working with them throughout the process of building the roof. The roof is such a mammoth task to get right. It's so important, you don't want any leaks, we're building out of the best materials that we can possibly get our hands on and I'm going to be learning a lot from them and helping them every step of the way. There's also a lot of stonework to do before we can even think about framing the roof up. So I'm excited to learn some new things and yeah, get stuck in tomorrow. So it's super early, 7 a.m. and Jack and Kevin, our builders, have just turned up and they are wasting no time. They're straight on the roof, ripping the roof down and today feels like the first day of school for me. I'm so excited getting the roof off and then we can really crack on with the big jobs. I've got to say, this is my favourite part of the whole barn conversion because I have been delegated the role of filming everything. I don't know if you've noticed, but I haven't been doing any manual labour today. I've just been filming everyone. Theo's obviously helping out. And uh, yeah, it's actually really nice to be able to watch the whole process rather than physically be doing it. My knuckles are still absolutely caning from all of the floor removal. So this is great. <laughs> stacking these tiles up in the back of Kevin's van because we're going to drive them up to where the horse box is because we need to keep the building site clear. It's already become a bit of a mess and when we were digging out so much rock and stone we had so much more than we thought we were going to have. So best to keep the building site tidy because there's a lot of work that's going to be going on with the roof. Keep coming. Another few metres. Alright, that'll do. Perfect. Welcome to Tile Mountain. <laughs> Me and Kevin are just stacking up the last of the tiles into this area here. They're just well out the way now. They won't encroach on the, the building area, but these things, they're very heavy. I feel like after this, and I'll keep saying it, <laughs> I'm gonna look like a bodybuilder. <laughs> So Jack is just on the roof right now, breaking off the beams of concrete. It already looks totally different. So 
I thought I'd come up here to film because it's really loud down there and you might struggle to hear me but we did just have a sand delivery come through a massive pile of sand and it's actually perfect that we didn't keep the tiles down there because there was a lot going on in an ideal world in hindsight we would have moved the rubble further but we were moving it with wheelbarrows I don't think we could have pushed any further away anyway so yeah the rubble does take up a lot of space but it's fine we've still got enough room down there and they're now just breaking off all of the old cement around the roof and then after that what comes next after that? What do you think? So basically all the cement that came off the roof has had to be cut down, smashed to pieces, put in a wheelbarrow and then what we're doing is wheelbarrowing it over near where the road is so that we can get a truck to come and pick it all up and take it away because you don't want loads of cement all over your land, you don't want to bury it, it's just horrible stuff. But it's hard work in this heat. Mm. But I think we've probably got, only got another 50 wheelbarrows to go <laughs> and then we're good. This is so weird to see. It's crazy isn't it? I can't believe that we have no roof. It's basically a ruin now, isn't it? Like the perfectly, it actually taking the roof off made us realise it wasn't a perfectly good roof. It looked perfectly good but it really wasn't. But it's so weird to see it's like a wall with a door in it and it just stops and it's almost like we've gone backwards we have gone backwards we just took the roof off <laughs> and now it literally is a ruin <laughs> crazy world so with a renovation project like this it might feel like you're taking a step back but in fact you are taking a step forwards because we need to strip the barn completely back to bare basics so we can make it 100% strong, 100% solid and actually look really nice and use all the right materials. It had a lot of concrete in the roof, we don't want that. We want a lovely wooden roof, we want to use sustainable uh, materials like lime and cork and yeah it's going to be really nice once it's finished but you need to really have that vision and look into the future of what it's going to be like because it's going to be amazing I'm telling you but right now it's pretty scary to look at without a roof on it. And Gingy's turn from building inspector to security because she knows there's not a roof on here now so she needs to keep guard don't you and she's doing a good job I mean look at that face would you mess with that cat nope I wouldn't firstly I want to congratulate Theo on this architectural feat that he's built here out of the old concrete beams <laughs> I'm They're not actually... sure that's what uh, Kevin and Jack were expecting <laughs> when they asked me to pile up the beams yeah but... I think they were like Okay, but it works and uh, you know, it makes it nicer to look at than a pile of rubble. Could be a sculpture. Yeah, it actually, you know, maybe we should keep it because we don't know what to do with this. We can't use it because it's just old manky concrete. If anyone wants loads of concrete beams that you probably won't be able to do much with, <laughs> let us know. Yeah, leave a comment down below and uh, we'll figure something out. Maybe we'll auction them off a euro a piece. And over here we've had a delivery that you saw earlier in the video of fine sand and then we got a slightly more rough sand over here. Last but not least we've got our pile of just broken up concrete that can't do anything with. We really don't want to have to like bury this on the land. It's not good. It's not nice. So we're going to have a truck come and pick it up and take it away.
It feels so weird to be standing in here and there's just blue sky above me, no roof at all. I'm so excited. <laughs> I cannot believe how fast things are moving and I know we're at the demolition stage and it takes a little bit longer to actually build stuff <laughs> than knock it down. But things are moving smoothly yeah. and I don't know if we've told you but we really want to be in here by Christmas. Yeah, because I know some people might be like, you've got all the time in the world, but it's like, we do want to get in here as soon as we can. So Christmas is our deadline and I think we're on track. I can just imagine lighting the wood burner, being cozy around it on oh. Christmas Eve. It's gonna be amazing. And fingers crossed, we hit that target. Yeah, fingers crossed. And make sure you turn on notifications if you haven't already. We release videos every single week. So we will see you on the next one.